kindly subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon for new updates on videos like share and comment about the video thank you hello students today i am explaining op amp adder subtractor experiment this experiment we are doing it from the spring board not from the trainer kit so you can see here observe here the notch is here the notch is here so from the left most pin it is pin number 1 2 3 4 then 5 6 7 8 so what i need to do is this zip lock lock open it and fix it like this then lock it in this these pins are internally soldered for these springs i can just press this and insert any wire in this becomes connection becomes easier so since op amp is only 8 pins what i can do is this is pin number 1 2 3 4 after this it will be here pin number 5 6 7 8 these pins are detachable i can take it out and insert it according to my convenience so now let us start the experiment for this op amp adder and subtractor we need three supplies one is dual supply one is dual supply which provides plus 12 and minus 12 volts then two supplies v1 and v2 so we will start connecting now start from the dual supply let me connect three wires to the dual supply let me connect three wires to the dual supply the positive supply that is plus 12 volt should be connected to pin number 7 so connect this to pin number 7 then the negative supply that is minus 12 volt should go to pin number 4 this is pin number 4 for adder ground position is going to pin number 3 then two more wires you take and connect it to the negatives of the rps both the rps that is v1 and v2 because these zero volts are nothing but ground we need to make a common ground for all the ground points since ground we have connected to pin number 3 bring these two negatives also to pin number 3 so i made a common ground point at pin number 3 now we need to start the connections this is adder circuit wherein two sources are connected to pin number 2 through two resistors and there is one feedback resistor from 2 to 6 so now what we need to do is we need to connect pin number 2 three resistors are of the same value that is 10k wherein one 10k is going to pin number 6 one 10k is going to v1 Well, another 10k is going to v2 already you remember these points we have made a common ground so again we need not have to bother about this we will finish this connection and that's all the adder circuit connection will be so take three resistors of 10 kilo ohm and connect it to pin number 2 this is pin number 2 connect it to pin number 2 then one 10 kilo ohm resistor should go to pin number 6 this is pin number 6 but i cannot extend this until here what i have used i have connected here and i am connecting it through the external wire to pin number 6 so i'll connect this and connect it to pin number 6 so that there won't be any disconnection connection will be proper then second 10 kilo ohm resistor 
I am connecting it to this spring. You can observe here. And from this, I am connecting it to V1. V1 means the first supply after the dual supply. That is here. This is V1. So, I am connecting it to positive. Notice already I have connected this. Nothing to worry about this. Then I have second 10 kilo ohm resistor. This second 10 kilo ohm resistor I need to connect it to another spring. And from this end I am connecting it to second supply positive. So now I finish the op amp adder connection. Very simple. I will tell once again. Pin number 7 to plus 12, 4 to minus 12, 3 to ground. Then two supplies V1 and V2, 0 volt that is ground points. Bring it and connect it to pin number 3. Three resistors of 10 kilo ohm connect it to pin number 2. One resistor connect it to V1. Second resistor to V2. Third resistor to pin number 6. That's all the connection. We will switch on and see the value. Before we start the experiment, what we need to do is fix this to the ground position. That is where we connected ground. See to that there should not be any short connections. After this, keep this positive to pin number 4. You are noticing here minus 12 volt almost. Then remove this, connect it to pin number 7. You could notice it is plus 11.9 or 12 volt. That, that means dual supply is connected successfully to the op amp. Now what I need to do is take this positive supply, keep it here. This is one and the same as, as if I am keeping like this. Instead of every time removing and keeping it, what I am doing is I am fixing the ground point. And you know very well the positive is connected here. I am just connecting it here. Then I will adjust by using coarse and fine knob. By using coarse and fine knob some value I will fix. Let me say V1 I am adjusting it to 2. As much as possible set it accurately. Don't see the display in the RPS. Check or set the input voltage through the meter which you are measuring even for the output. Then this is for V1, then this will be for V2. So take V2, keep it here, again adjust the coarse and fine knob, set it some value. What I am doing is I am just keeping V2 more now. I am keeping it at 3. Now you can see V1, okay, V1 is 2, V2 is 3. Now addition means 2 plus 3 should be 5. We will see the output keeping the multimeter positive to pin number 6. You are getting minus 5.18. Why that negative sign? Why is this negative sign? Because you are operating with inverting adder. That shows that negative sign. First thing. Secondly, when I set it here, you could notice it is 2.02, not exactly 2. And when I set it here, it is 3.1, it is not 3. So, it should be 5.12 I should get. I am getting 5.16. This is because if the op amp has offset voltage at the output, that also will be added or subtracted. Now, what I do, this is first case. What I do, I can take this second case as I will change this to 4.5. V1 as 4.5. Keeping this here, I will change V2. V2, I am changing it to 1 volt. Or 1.5. So 4.5 and 1.5. 6 you should get around. You can notice that minus 6.2 you are getting. That means it is verified that op amp can be used as a adder. So various values are given in the tabular column. V1 as 1, V2 as 2. You should get around minus 3. What you are getting you should measure. Similarly, 1.5 and 2.5. I showed 1.5 and 3, 4.5. Here, 1.5 and 2.5. Similarly, 2 and 3. 
so you can do whatever the value it is not a fixed you can put any value and then do also one thing you should remember in case if i give this as around suppose say 10 this also around 10 you know 10 plus 10 should be 20 but what is the output you are getting okay 9.8 so far it was working. What happened all of a sudden? Remember plus VCC and minus VE. That means the voltage that we are giving for op amp is plus 12 and minus 12. Some voltage is required for the op amp to work. That is why it will not go beyond the applied voltage. So one thing we should remember V1, V1 and V2. The sum should always be less than little bit lesser than this if i'm applying 12 volt it should be less than 10 volt then only it will work if i apply 15 volt the sum should be around 12 volt this can be one of the viva questions also what i can do is if i interchange this suppose now i am interchanging positive and negative of v1 you know theoretically the formula is minus of V1 plus V2. Now what I am applying here is, I have, okay for example 4 I am giving V1, V2 I am giving 2. 4 you could notice now there is a negative sign because I have interchanged the polarities of the supply. Now what happens theoretically it is V2 minus V1 because I am applying negative voltage V2 plus V1. Whereas V1 is negative, I should get a value which is like a subtracted value. Formula is minus of V1 plus V2. But when V1 becomes negative, V2 becomes positive, even the adder can act as a subtractor. So this also could be one of the viva question. If both are negative, it becomes just V1 plus V2 because this minus and that minus get cancels. So these are some of the viva questions that we need to remember. So now adder circuit is over. Let me show how to construct subtractor circuit. Little modification is enough in this circuit. I need not have to disconnect the complete circuit for subtractor. The op amp subtractor circuit, I am using 4 resistors now, not 3 resistors. Also, from pin number 2, there are only 2 resistors connected and R1 is connected to V1. Pin number 3 is not grounded. Instead, pin number 3 is also connected with 2 resistors, wherein one resistor is gone to V2 and the other resistor to ground. So, only this change if we do, it is enough. Rest of the circuit remains the same. How to do this? I will just show you now. The very first thing is switch off the supplies. Second thing is remove all these three wires which you connected from grounds to pin number 3. That is ground from this, ground from this and ground from this all the three grounds we will connect it later we will keep it aside then what I need to do is I need to remove I need to remove V2 is this V2 is this this thing is gone here and this resistor I need to remove from pin number 2 Connect it to pin number 3. I removed first ground point from pin number 3 and one resistor I removed from 2 and connect it to 3. Now what I do, as I said I need one more spring to connect. I will connect it like this. The fourth resistor I will take it from pin number 2, sorry pin number 3 and I will connect it here. Now, if you remember, this is the ground point. So, all the ground points should come here now. So, what I do now is, whatever I have removed, those three wires, I will take from the batteries and I will connect it back to this newly 
connected resistor. So now my connections are over for op amp subtractor. I will switch on. Always remember when you switch on the dual supply, you should just touch here and see the IC should not be getting heated. IC should remain cool. Now what I do, again ground point I will fix to this ground connection like this. The positive of the multimeter, I will take it at V1. This is V1. I'll see randomly. 3.97 is there. V2, 2.10 is there. For op amp subtractor, it is V2 minus V1. You might have noticed V1 is more than V2. So, V2 minus V1 means I should get a negative value at the output. You can see subtracted value 2.10 minus 2.09 minus 3.97 almost 1.9 that is 1.88 with a negative sign. This negative sign is because of the value V1 is more than V2. Now what I do is, I will change this second source V2 to 6, so that V2 is greater than V1. This is 6.07, this is 3.97 or you can even make it a round figure as 4. 6 and 4 should be 2. You can notice you are getting 2 with a positive sign. That is because V2 is greater than V1. So, in op amp subtractor, we may get positive or negative sign at the output depending on the values that we set at V1 and V2. Again, we can have the same way of viva questions. If I interchange here, what happens? You need to substitute that in the formula V2 minus V1. Then you need to find out what will happen. For example, see this is a tabular column. We have a different values 1, 2. 2 minus 1 will be 1. 3.5 and 1.5 you will get 2. This is 2 minus 4 you will get minus 2. The formula is V2 minus V1. If I make V1 negative, it becomes V2 plus V1. If I make V2 negative, it is like minus of V1 plus V2 which is nothing but adder type. So same adder and subtractor by giving different values and different connections, even we can connect one another. We can convert it to one another. This is what is op amp adder and subtractor experiment with some viva questions. Thank you.